okay what's up these are things i'm interested in so i wanted to make videos about them i wanted to talk about today how uh ndi kind of work not really not how it works just how to set it up because most people don't care how it works and i i do and don't it's basically just sending your video feed stream to another computer but it's merely within your network so basically lan for video that counts that works i don't know maybe like that so we're gonna go over some steps on what you need to do to have like a quality stream from it or as high quality as you can get basically how to set it up properly so there is minimal issues let's get into it so to begin with ndi you have to install the plugin for obs on both of your computers it comes with a runtime and the ndi plugin itself link will be in the description okay so on your gaming computer you need to make sure that your profiles are all set up properly so when you go to your profile it'll be your streaming profile so you're going to send out 6000 two is a normal keyframe interval don't go too fast because you're only sending out your stream to your other computer which is going to be streaming at a higher quality so to add a source you just do ndi source create source and then this doesn't say it for me this is just my own stream right now from this computer you'll have it set to highest you'll have it set to network because this is over the network you want full color range and highest color space that's how you add the ndi source to the thing to the thing to obs do that on your stream pc mine will not record properly because it's an asshole and you will be all set so when you're there you're gonna find your source name your source name on your recording pc will be found in ndi output setting make sure you check main output to send it out and then you can rename it there i make you bigger you can you'll rename it here um preview output i don't know that you can preview things i guess eh, i don't use it it's not important for this you just want main output check mark when you're using it when you're not using it make sure you check off otherwise all of your recordings will be overloaded because you're both sending out video it may not be getting received but you're still sending it out and you're trying to record at the same time, which is why streaming and recording never go well at the same time. And if you don't check there, if you decide to change your settings up, if you just go to video, it's going to tell you video output is currently active. Please turn off any outputs and you're like, but I'm not recording. You are outputting video. So just double check that every time you go to record. Bottom line, install the drivers. Make sure your profile is set up for a stream profile and not a recording profile. Add the source. This this could come this should come first. Use a wired connection. If you can't use a wired connection, have them both be on the same network. So although although it's the same okay, the same connection type is also part of the network. You may be on the same network, as in this is one router, but you're on two different networks because one is wired and one is not so just make sure they're both on the same if you're using wireless use wireless throughout if you're using ethernet use ethernet throughout do not go halfway can i get this to work with me or is my cam link broken oh it's working it's actually not broken i'm very proud of it because it broke a few times i might make a video on how to fix that because it gets annoying if you like the video let me know what else you want to learn about obs or whatever what the likes all of that i will do my best to make a video i'm not the smartest kid i'm, I'm quite literally one of the dumbest um <laughs> subscribe i am trying to make videos trying um <laughs> i like tech so if i have tech i like to talk about it and learn about it so maybe i'll make a video on good obs recording settings like if you want to comment tell me please nobody else talks to me <laughs> that's all for this video if you have any questions just leave them i will answer them to the best of my ability if you're having issues um the setup shouldn't cause issues for you but sometimes if you're opening both of them and the, it's not receiving the video just close them both reopen them both a few times and just like reset the in the ndi output when you do that otherwise you're not gonna accomplish anything so just reopen restart i need to start looking at the camera i'm actually dumb it's actually dumb okay like comment subscribe thanks for watching please don't die i have pokemon band-aids it's eevee psyduck sadness I don't like this, don't you follow me, call me, me. enough for more time